You might not remember earlier this year when a small new company called Framework announced a 13-inch laptop designed from the ground up with repair and modularity in mind. You might not remember, but we've been anxiously waiting four long months for this thing and it's finally here, the Framework laptop. Before we tear it down though, let's rewind. Because the Framework laptop is so DIY friendly that you have the option to build the thing yourself. So of course we chose that option. Inside our Framework package, three boxes hold all the pieces we'll need to make a working laptop. In the first box, the bare bones machine, and underneath, they include the only tool you'll need to replace anything inside, a handy 2-bit screwdriver with a pry tool on the other end. Framework was initially hoping to sell this DIY edition even less assembled, but then they announced in a blog post earlier this year that they had run into some logistical issues with that plan, so finishing touches is all we'll get to do here today. But it's still a really cool idea. In the component box is an Intel wireless card, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 250 gigabyte Western Digital NVMe SSD, a 32 gigabyte thumb drive for installing Windows, six different port options, and three awesome framework patches. When you buy a framework laptop, assembled or not, you'll get to pick your own version of all these parts or ask them not to include anything you already own. To get inside the laptop and install these parts, I just need to twirl five Torx screws on the lower case. These are captive screws so they don't fall out and get lost, which I love. Then I'll flip the laptop over and lift up the keyboard assembly, which is held in place with magnets, just like the newer Surface Pro laptops. Underneath the keyboard is pure beauty. Every major component is labeled and there's even a QR code, which will take you right to the spare part page on Frameworks Marketplace. The two eight gigabyte sticks of RAM slide into their homes, along with the storage drive and the Wi-Fi card after some coaxing of the pesky antenna cables. Finally, we'll choose our ports. One of Framework's coolest ideas was to build little modules to convert the four USB-C ports into a number of alternate connection options. HDMI, DisplayPort, USB-A, microSD card reader, or even just some extra storage. They're like little built-in dongles. We're not going to install Windows yet, so booting this thing up won't do much for now, but that's the whole assembly process. And again, this isn't the only way to buy a Framework laptop. They'll definitely sell you a pre-assembled machine just like any other company too but what's the fun in that? With all this modularity, you might expect the Framework laptop to be really thick or really ugly by modern laptop standards, but that's really not the case, at least in my opinion. The Framework laptop is actually just barely thicker than the HP MB14 I've been using for the last few months, and it's considerably more repairable. Even the thin at all costs 13 inch MacBook Pro at its thickest part is only a fraction of a millimeter thinner than the Framework. So on to disassembly. The ports slide out with the push of a button, then captive screws, keyboard comes up, wireless card, storage, and memory. Since Framework designed this from the ground up with repairability in mind, they of course made arrangements for an easy battery replacement procedure. To replace a battery in the Framework laptop, all you need to do is disconnect it and loosen three captive screws. It's a beautiful thing. No glue to fight, no awkward prying, no removing other parts. So you can really do a whole battery swap in less than five minutes, which is great because batteries will eventually fail no matter what since they lose their ability to hold a charge. This battery is on the small side, so it will go through cycles quicker, but it's so easy to replace that that's almost a non-issue. Moving on, the speakers slide up off these screw hold posts with a gentle pry, and then all there is to do is peel up the cable that connects them. The display is home to another genius idea, a magnetic bezel. If you need to replace the display, or if you just want a different color bezel, peel it up and you're on your way. I'll actually go ahead and remove this whole display to keep the laptop from wobbling for the rest of this teardown. I set my sights on the motherboard next, since that too is a replaceable module. Five screws hold it down, then three to release the heatsink, and it's out. The board is sparse to keep the part cheap and easy to replace, but it is home to an 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor. With a swappable motherboard, you could easily upgrade your CPU from the entry-level Core i5 to a Core i7, or if Framework has their way, all the way up to a next-gen Intel CPU next year. Though I wouldn't exactly count on that. We'd love to see it happen, obviously, but we've seen the sad version of this story play out before. A company comes forward to disrupt the market with a repairable product, we get our hopes up, but the company ultimately doesn't care long enough to make the upgraded parts, or it has to compromise repairability to stay relevant in the market. I will say Framework is the most promising version of this story that I've seen in a long time, but it's just a hard puzzle to crack, so be careful with your expectations. But enough of me ranting, back to the good stuff. There's not much left in this cavity, but I am curious what's under these indents where the ports slide in. A few screws and an aluminum cover reveals a light guide. Finally, let's take a quick look at the keyboard assembly. At this point, you probably won't be surprised to learn that this is all modular. The keyboard is held down by at least 50 screws, but it can be replaced. 
Hint, hint, Apple. The trackpad, on the other hand, is as simple as any. Four screws and it comes right out. It's safe to say that we are pretty thrilled about this thing. Framework has gone above and beyond even what we hoped for in a repairable laptop and managed to do it in a super sleek, affordable package. The only tiny nitpick we have is that the four USB-C ports on the motherboard are soldered in place, and even that isn't a huge deal since they'll have adapters plugged into them most of the time. I'm crossing my fingers for a version 2 with a dedicated GPU, but I know a lot of the iFixit team will be upgrading to one of these from their old 2012 MacBook Pros this year. If you're in the market for a new laptop right now, definitely consider a Framework laptop. It's earned our highest recommendation. The Framework laptop scores an exceedingly rare 10 out of 10 on our repairability scale. Oh, and one quick note before we go. We usually buy our own teardown devices as soon as we can after their public release, but Framework was nice enough to send us this one early to make this video. We love that, but obviously that's not why we gave them a 10. If you can think of any reason this thing doesn't deserve a 10, let us know in the comments below.